Hey guys, it's 21 Times from PokedexCentral.com. I'm uh, going to talk about today about a new Pokemon, a couple of new Pokemon coming out of the Lost Thunder set. The first one is Kofagrigus. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble spelling this guy's name. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of trouble remembering exactly how it's spelled. <laughs> but it's Kofagrigus. He is a Psychic Pokemon. He's 120 HP, Stage 1, and he has an attack called Soul Juggling. For a Psychic and a Colorless, which means it could be done with Counter Energy, it does 10 plus damage. Discard as many of your benched Pokemon as you like. This attack does 30 more damage for each bench Pokemon you discarded in this way. Very similar to, you guessed it, Gardevoir EX. Way back from right before the GX, the dawn of the GX era. Gardevoir EX was a good Pokemon, did good damage, and... Um, it uh, was very popular, actually won a tournament, I think, down in Dallas, um, right before, like December of 2016, right before the uh, the um, GX Pokemon came on the scene. So uh, this is very similar. You could discard. So, so you, I mean, you could probably guess, you know, all the different Pokemon you could potentially use. Tapu Lele, um, you know, you could be, you know, you could... Take that off your board, put it in your discard. You can potentially recycle it. Or Corio, Nihilego. You know, there, there are a number of different basic Pokemon, Marshadow, Kartana, that you could use. Knock them off your board when you're done with them. And that way, because obviously 170 is becoming the new 110, and chances are if you potentially could, you know, rescue Stretcher them back into your deck and use them again at some point in the future. So... Kofagrigus could be very beneficial that way, but I actually have a card that is going to be a better partner with it and is going to make up what will probably be a featured deck. I don't know if it's going to be a Tier 1 deck, but it sure looks pretty good to me. So the deck that I'm, the card that I'm looking at pairing it with is Giratina, another psychic Pokemon with the ability Torn Door. This, this ability allows you to, once during your turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, huh, I wonder how we could get this Pokemon in our discard pile. But if it's in your discard pile, you may play it onto your bench. Then put one damage counter on two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So realize right there, you're not putting 20 damage on any one individual Pokemon. You have to put 10 damage on one, 10 damage on another. So, bing! Obviously, Giratina is a great combo with Kofagrigus. And I actually came up with a little bit, a little chart here showing you exactly how much damage you could potentially do in any one given turn. So, realize that the way this works out, obviously, Giratina is probably going to come from your hand first, unless you Ultra Ball it away or, you know, Mysterious Treasure it away or whatever which is quite possible. Um, but, you know, assuming it comes from your day, you, you know, you attack on turn one, you discard it, and then turn, you know, your next turn to go to attack, you know, your, your opponent passes, you draw for turn, and then you can play Torn Door. And at that point, that's when you're putting the Torn Door damage down on your opponent. So again, um, if you have, you know, if you, if you put one Torn Door into play, you're putting 20 damage, and again, the 20 damage, 10 has to go on one Pokemon, 10 would have to go on another. If you had two, you'd put basically the most you could put on one Pokemon would be 20 damage. Because you activate Torn Door, and then you choose two Pokemon. Activate Torn Door, Poke Torn Door again, you choose two Pokemon again. So the most you could put. Um, if you have four Giratina in your discard, the most you could put on any one Pokemon is 40 damage. So you could see here how the damage really escalates. Uh, for instance, if you just have you know one Giratina in play and you only discard one card, from it, you don't necessarily have to discard your Giratina. If you want to leave the Giratina down and you want to discard Tapu Lele, that's great. So at any rate, so the, the, the soul juggling part of the attack in this case, is 40 damage. 40 damage is what comes from, from Soul Juggling. 20 damage would come from Torn Door. Now realize, again, that 20 damage isn't going to all be on the active. It's going to be 10 on the active. So in this case, if you have one Giratina that you played down during the current turn and you only discard one card, you're only doing 50 damage to the 
active Pokemon, and 10 damage would have to be on some benched Pokemon. But you could see that this that this escalates. So, for instance, if you have two Giratina, in, if you if you play two Giratina from your discard pile during the turn, and if you discard both of those two Giratina, for instance, let's say, your Soul Juggling will do 70 damage, and then you'll have 40 damage spread out somewhere else among your board. So, for instance, you'd have 20 on the active, at most 20 on the active, and then you'd have, you know, maybe 10 on two different bench books. And you could see this, you know, escalates up if you have if you play three Giratina into play on that turn, and then you discard, let's say, all three of those, you're doing a hundred damage with soul juggling, and then potentially 30 to the active, at most 30 to the active. So you know you would knock out 130 HP Pokemon, and then you'd have you know additional 30 damage somewhere else, which is actually you know good because then you know your next turn. Your opponent's promoting a Pokemon that probably is going to have some damage counters already on it. It's going to make it that much easier to, to KO it. So you could see this escalates, and if you actually have five, if you actually discard your whole bench, clear your whole bench out, which you could do. I mean, if you have, if your opponent has one prize card left, clear your bench, knock them all off. You get four Giratina into play, then the total damage you're doing is 240. Now realize that's a maximum of 200 to the active Pokemon, but I'll be willing 